avocado is constant. Tasty be the most difficult calculation for many higher pupils. The question is, what is it? Well, you might remember the number 6.02 times 10 to the power 23. You'll find that number on the last page of the data book. It's the number of bits of a substance in a mole. Again, okay? the number of bits of a substance in a mole. I say bits because it depends on what the substance actually is. Take, for example, an element such as aluminium. Now, we're writing the formula for aluminium. Why does aluminium have that symbol? That symbol could represent an aluminium atom. And in one mole of aluminium, which weighs 27 grams, you would have Avogadro's number of aluminium atoms. You have to look at the formula and use the formula as a guide as to the kind of particles you're dealing with. The particles might be atoms, maybe molecules, maybe ions. In the case of aluminium, the formula is Al, therefore we're dealing with individual aluminium atoms. Which means that in 27 grams of aluminium, we would have 6.02 times 10 to the 23 of these aluminium atoms. Let's take molecules. If the substance is covalent, if it's made from non-metals, it will almost certainly be made from molecules. Water is a classic example. We write down the formula for water. The formula for water reflects the nature of a water particle. It's telling us that one little piece of water has three atoms in it. It's a little cluster of water molecule. There's a water molecule. Here's another water molecule. How many molecules would we have in one mole of water? Well, one mole always contains Avogadro's number of particles. So, in one mole of water, which you can work it out, is 18 grams, we would have Avogadro's number of water molecules. We would have 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 molecules this time. As I say, look at the formula. The formula tells us the nature of the particle. People often talk about the formula unit. Sodium hydroxide. This is not an element. This is not covalent. It's an ionic compound. It's an ionic compound because it contains a metal and a non-metal. It has a lattice structure. This is more difficult. We look at the formula for sodium hydroxide, NaOH. If we circle that, then we're representing the smallest piece of sodium hydroxide which could exist. If I represent sodium ions by a plus symbol and hydroxide ions by a negative symbol, then that represents a piece, a particle of sodium hydroxide. It's not an atom, it's not a molecule, it's not even an ion, it's a pair of ions. But this pair of ions represents a little piece of sodium hydroxide. Let's call it a formula unit. A formula unit, unit can be found by writing the formula and recognizing that the formula represents the smallest piece of that substance. So how many of these little pieces would there be in a mole of sodium hydroxide? Avogadro's number. One mole of sodium hydroxide has a mass of 40 grams. So in 40 grams of sodium hydroxide, I would have Avogadro's number of these pairs of ions. There's a pair, there's a pair, and so on. We'd have a lattice structure, billions upon billions of iron pairs. So once again, in one mole of this substance, we've got 6.02, times 10 to the 23 formula units. Now let's take this further. In the case of aluminium, we could be asked a question such as, how many atoms, how many atoms in 5.4 grams of aluminium? How many atoms in 5.4 grams of aluminium? Where do we begin? We we'll begin a question like that by saying that we know how many atoms are in a mole of aluminium. One mole of aluminium, we know, has 27, has a mass of 27 grams, and will have Avogadro's number of atoms.
atoms. So, if 27 grams of aluminium has this number of atoms, then how many atoms are in 5.4 grams? It's a simple ratio. Will this be more than Avogadro's number or less? Well, it will be less. So, what we could do is take Avogadro's number and make it less by putting the smaller number on top and a larger number below. It's that fraction of Avogadro's number. If we do this calculation, the answer comes to 1.2 times 10 to the power 23 aluminium atoms. If the substance is molecular, if for example we're dealing with water, we might have a question, how many molecules? So, here's another question. How many molecules in say one gram of water? How many molecules in one gram of water? Let's find out. Where do we begin? We always begin with the mole. We're on very firm ground with the mole. One mole of water has a mass of 18 grams, and because it's a mole, has Avogadro's number. Avogadro's number of what? Of molecules. Because looking at the formula for water, it's made of molecules. So in 18 grams, we've got Avogadro's number of molecules. The question is, how many molecules are in one gram? More or less? Less. Far fewer. Far fewer molecules in one gram than in 18 grams. So once again, we take Avogadro's number and make it less by putting the 1 on top in the 18 below. It's this fraction of Avogadro's number. If we do this calculation, it comes to 3.33 times 10 to the power 22 molecules. Finally, a calculation to do with ions tends to be the most difficult one. For example, how many ions are in, say, 2 grams of sodium hydroxide? How many ions? And you have to be very careful here. What do we know? We know what one mole, we know what one mole of sodium hydroxide weighs. One mole of sodium hydroxide has a mass of 40 grams and of course has Avogadro's number. But watch out. Avogadro's number of formula units. Avogadro's number of sodium hydroxide units. Not ions. For each of these units, like a little package, there are two ions. So, in 40 grams, we've got Avogadro's number of these units. So in 2 grams, how many of these units will there be? Once again, we're looking at a smaller quantity, so we're going to say Avogadro's number made smaller. Made smaller with the 2 on top and the 40 below. Again, it's that fraction of Avogadro's number. If we do this calculation, it comes to 3 times 10 to the 22. A 3 times 10 to the 22 what? Of these units. A unit of sodium hydroxide being a sodium ion and a hydroxide ion. But the question was how many ions? In each of these units, each of the little packages, there are two ions. So if one unit has two ions, if we have this number of units, we'll be double that number of ions. So the answer is 6 times 10 to the 22 ions. 